Hey guys, how's it going? A few years now I've been running a soft top rooftop tent on the back of the canopy there, but I'm finally upgrading to a hard shell rooftop tent, and this is where I ran into a massive issue. I could not find any manufacturer in Australia that makes a roof rack capable of supporting a hard shell rooftop tent mounted solely on the canopy, because you can't mount on the canopy and your roof. Because the chassis flexes and everything else, you end up breaking something, breaking the rooftop tent, so you can only mount to one surface, and you can't mount to your roof because your roof can't handle that much weight, so your canopy is it. So how did I get around this issue? Well, I'll show you how. Let's get to it. When I first considered mounting the rooftop tent, my original idea was take the three Rhino Rack crossbars from my roof and just transfer them straight to the canopy, bolt the rooftop tent straight onto the canopy, um, and I assume 800 overhang will be fine because the canopy is 1.5 meters long and it's 2.3 meters rooftop tent. So then I contacted uh, Camp King Industries, who I'm going through, and they let me know that the rooftop tents, hard shells can't be unsupported for more than 300 mils. That's all the tolerance you have. So I had to have support coming the whole way of the rooftop tent. After my first idea fell through, that's when I decided it was time to contact um, some roof rack manufacturers. And that's when I realized that nobody makes anything that can hold that much unsupported weight. And I was thinking, what am I gonna do? What's my next option now? I want that hard shell rooftop tent. How do I go about it? Um, that's when I end up contacting some engineers and getting something custom made. Now, before you rush out and contact an engineer, there's a few things you have to consider first before you even think about going ahead with this. Um, can your vehicle handle with that much weight? Trouble is these hard shell rooftop tents, they're all around the sort of 90 kilo mark. That's just the rooftop tent alone. Then you're gonna need a roof rack to support that, which is another 30, 40 kilos, even made out of alloy. So, uh, and then an awning as well. I'm gonna two centimeter degree freestanding awning. That's another 24 kilos. Um, so I'm looking over 100, probably 150 kilos easy on my roof. Now that's a lot of weight to add to your roof. That's one thing you gotta consider. Uh, soft tops are only about uh, 50, 60 kilos, and then 20, 10, 20 kilos for your roof rack. You don't need a really upgraded roof rack. Any sort of roof rack will do. Um, next thing is, can your suspension handle that much weight? You need to consider um, your GBM as well. Can you handle that much weight? Uh, is there gonna be a lot of sway? It's very top heavy. Um, and also your chassis as well. What, that's one thing I'm gonna have to do uh, next is I'm gonna have to end up strengthening my chassis because I don't know if my chassis can handle that much weight purely on the rear end. So it's there's quite a few challenges you gotta get through before you consider doing it to a dual cab ute. Not to mention your canopy itself. You need to make sure your canopy can support that much weight on top of the roof. So my advice to you, if you've ticked all those boxes, go into an engineer's, get them to go over everything, make sure it's completely safe to go ahead with it first before you even think about it. And then you can look at getting a custom roof rack made. Let's run through this one here. I actually got this idea off of YouTube. I started um, YouTubing how to make your custom roof rack uh, at home. And a lot of people make them out of these T-slotted aluminium extrusion. You can see here, uh, these are the extrusions like your roof racks are made of. And you actually slide nuts and bolts directly into here and bolt straight to these. You can actually build your whole roof rack just out of this if you wanted to. That was my first idea. But the engineer, come up with a different idea. He's done several of these in the past before. Now I used um, Gap Engineering in Brisbane. Uh, I Googled T-sided extrusion and they were the first ones that come up. So I was originally gonna buy everything through them and build it myself. But then they offered to do this um, as a once-off for me. They don't do it very often for people, but as a once-off, I got this done purely custom made. Now, aluminium sides, two sides, with everything drilled and everything bolted straight to it. All my crossbars that go across to support all the weight evenly. And then I like this idea too. These pieces here he made up, they're gonna go right at the end and bolt to it to really strengthen the overhang. So wherever overhangs the car is double strengthened. Now this first bracket here, these are the feet bracket. There's eight of these that are clamped down to the canopy. So that goes through the canopy and that bolts to the roof rack here. Now trouble was, they were only six mils holes, so I've enlarged them to eight mil. I didn't want to put M6 bolts holding my rooftop tent. That's a lot of weight, so I'm going M8 bolts. And also didn't like that these supports are that high here. And when I bolted to the roof rack, the roof rack was gonna sit that high above my canopy, which I really didn't like. I wanted it as low as possible to try and keep that weight down as low as I could. So I've come up with an idea myself. 
I'm actually going to drill two holes higher up there and I made up my own little brackets. Trouble was there's a big hole in the middle there. So what I've done, I've made my bracket with four holes here. That's just simply gonna go over that hole and now I've got four bolt holes I can put through here. So when I drill my two holes here, that's gonna lower that foot um, and double support. The next thing your engineer has to consider is where these feet are gonna bolt through on your canopy. Uh, now, ideally you'd like to bolt it through and clamp around the internal frame of your canopy. That's gonna be the strongest mounting point possible. But because I've already insulated and carpeted and everything else, my rooftop tent, uh, my canopy, sorry, it makes it really hard for me to try and uh, line up with my internal frame to get to. So I've had to go to the next best option. I made up my own 100 mil by 100 mil little body washers here. So that's gonna sit under the in the canopy under the roof and then on top of the canopy that's going to go on there and actually sandwich it between the canopy so i've got a, a massive plate there that's going to support the weight evenly on the canopy this is taking me months and months to try and organize this roof rack here uh, the engineer is extremely busy um, and even though i did finally get it last week and i was going to fit it and actually fit the rooftop tent this weekend and be out camping using the rooftop tent tonight but unfortunately he sent the roof rack down and didn't include the special nuts with the little spring washes, uh, springs on them that got to slide in the channels here. So I can't even properly put this together and mount it because when I put it all together, I can't get those uh, nuts inside the channels here. So I need to leave it apart before I can actually put those nuts in and put it all together finally. So that's another week just wasted. I can't do it until next weekend now. So those nuts will arrive during the week, but I still work full time. So one night during this week, I'm gonna be at home in the dark um, selling this roof rack, getting ready for the, to fit the rooftop tent on the weekend. So we'll still do a dummy fit now. We'll put it all together loosely so you can see what it's going to look like on the car and you consider whether you want to go this down this road yourself. So these two support bars are going to line up with these front three holes. They've all got holes drilled in them as well. So that will line up there. And then the three shorter support, supports here will end up going at the front and the two longer ones at the back. Now these actually attach. They tap threads into the end here. So you've got two threads for the two M8 bolts to go straight in the ends. Now it's all together loose so that you can see what it's gonna look like when it's finished. But I ran into a problem and this is what can happen when you're doing custom builds. I'll show you what's happened. The issue I've caused for myself is my own fault. Because I've lowered these feet down, I didn't consider this L-shaped bracket across here that's there for strength. The other three brackets were fine, but this last bracket that I need to put in uh, blocks halfway across here. So I can't actually lower this like I have the others. What I'm gonna have to do is actually bend this bracket in half to go around this L-shaped bracket here. Otherwise, I can't get that in. Unfortunately, I don't have a vice here, so I'm gonna have to bend those brackets at work on Monday, but I really wanted to test fit this on the car today. So I've just got a couple bits of paper toweling and put the brackets on the outside for now. Uh, paper telling just so I don't scratch the outside powder coating off. Now we're gonna lift this up on the car and see how it looks on the car. So this is how it's gonna sit, guys. It's got four mounting points on each side, which are bolt through the canopy. You can see it raises up here to clear the roof. And I've still got plenty of room here, so there's no way, even if the car flexes, it's not gonna to touch my roof. I've designed it so that it's got plenty of clearance. The roof rack is 2.3 meters long, same as the rooftop tent. So the rooftop tent will finish at the end of the rack here. And start at the back of the canopy there. Now the only weak point I can find with this roof rack design is lateral movement side to side. Um, the only thing stopping it from going side to side is those feet on the bottom which it mounts to. Um, if I do notice any sort of movement, like it's been designed by an engineer so it should be all good. Um, he designed it in CAD and everything else. But if I do notice anything, I'm gonna have to build some little uh, gussets on those feet to try and stiffen those feet up, but it should be fine. I couldn't find any information online at all regarding how to mount a hard shell rooftop tent to a canopy on a dual cab ute. YouTube, like nothing had any sort of information on how to do it. So I had to do it all from scratch. So I understand you guys probably have more questions as well. So don't hesitate. If you have got any more questions about how to do this at all or how to do it safely, just message me. I'm always happy to answer. I'm not an engineer. So I would just suggest you always seek uh, professional advice first before you go ahead with any of this. But thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you have found it helpful and maybe you consider going to a hard shell rooftop tent. They are the future. Um, I'm gonna love having my bedding permanently set up there, ready to go. Undo my two latches here, lift it up, done. Ready to go, sleep. So thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you've liked it. 
Uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I do, I do plenty more of these videos. But catch you the next one, guys. Cheers.